Since 1970, Septemberfest has entertained Schaumburg residents and visitors alike. With me now to discuss this year's event, our Village Special Events Coordinator, Roxanne Benvenuti, and Septemberfest Committee Chair, Bill Boyle. Roxanne, Bill, welcome to Speaking Thanks. of Schaumburg. Thanks. You've been here before. Thanks. I've been here before. Yes. Well, tell us a little bit about Septemberfest. Now the... it's for Septemberfest. So. Yes. Well, there's definitely you know, no other place like Schaumburg on Labor Day weekend. It's, it's the place to be. Definitely, it's the place to be for uh, the best fest in town. It's 40 years? 40 years. 40 years. Yep, we're 40 and fabulous. And how, how many people are in the committee, and how many people go back that, that long as far as the fest is we've concerned? Got, we've got one member that's been with the committee the entire time, all 40 years. And who would that uh, be? L. Al Oswald. Al Oswald. He was supposed, we wanted him to join us, but he wasn't available this afternoon, but uh, we definitely wanted him yeah. to join us because. He's uh, the guy who drives around in a golf cart yes. all day long. Yes, he sure. is. Yes, yeah. he's yes, a, he the layout chairperson, yeah. so he helps, you know, decide where all the tents go, where all the restrooms go, knows, you know, where things to be moved, if they need to be moved, and uh, he has every, a famous saying. Yeah. <laughs> every year, we always, we're always, you know, discussing where to put something, and we're saying, well, where was it last year? And Al says, I got it. He goes and gets his pictures, and he has the pictures exactly where it was, so we know exactly where to put everything. It's okay. he's a good resource. He's a bit of, bit of history. Sometimes. Then I always call him up and say, I've got just this one more booth we need to squeeze in, and then his famous saying is, "All right, I gotta go get my ground stretcher." So that's that's his famous saying because we always just want to fit that one more booth okay. in, and he now, always the, helps make that happen. The nice thing about the fest, besides it being free, is that you get you get free transportation. You don't have to worry about parking. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Yeah, definitely. Well, we want to offer the patrons a means of getting here uh, efficiently, so we do offer the free shuttle service for them. They can park at Schaumburg High School, Corner High School, and Adams, and they let off right across the street, and they walk over. Okay. There's an arts and crafts component, too, isn't there? Yes, there is. We've got over 300 uh, crafters that... Uh, over 300? Over 300. Wow. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, it's probably about... 265. Oh, okay. 265, but yeah, a little shy. Oh, so it seems like 300. Yeah, there's so many, and it's so well attended. It's a lot of different things, and one of the things that the people that show their work have to make it them make it themselves. They can't, you know, insource it and then sell it here. They have to be able to make it themselves. So you want original arts and crafts? Yes. Yeah. Maybe it's 300 people apply for it. Probably, yeah, yeah that's what or, or more. Apply for. But the craft committee prides themselves in having all handmade crafts. Now, how long have you been on the committee, Bill? I've been on for... 15 years almost. I think this is my 15th year. And how did you get involved? Um, Kurt Rogers. <laughs> oh, Kurt. Kurt Rogers, he was the, uh, the uh, chairman, and I knew uh, Kurt from coaching Little League and you know basketball and stuff, sure. and he said, I'd like to talk to you sometime after, after a game or something. So we went and had a coffee, and he had asked me, they were thinking about uh, starting a new position on the fest, uh, the volunteer coordinator. Okay. And I said, oh, I didn't know what was involved in it, and little did I know now that it's probably one of the hardest positions on our fest committee. That's How many volunteers are there? No, we probably about two hundred. About two hundred. Okay. Yeah. And a hundred usually, it could be a hundred and fifty people fill two hundred positions because several do more than one. Okay. Yeah. Don, Don Morrison is their committee chairman now that does the uh, volunteers. Coordinates the volunteers. He does a good job. And how many people? Excellent. How many people on the committee? The September fest committee. Twenty. Twenty. And how often, how often members. do they meet? We meet monthly, and in August we meet twice. And it's 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 year round. We start planning September fest in January. Yeah. People always ask you, know, well, when do you start planning the next year's event? You say, right away. Yeah. <laughs> there's, not, there's no time in between. We nope. usually start right away. How many food vendors do you have? Twenty six this year. We usually have 24, so okay. it's a big deal. We're actually annexing, you know, kind of yeah. annexing out of the tent. Are these all uh, Schaumburg restaurants? All Schaumburg all, restaurants. It's the taste of Schaumburg. So the idea is that you can try um, food here and then actually go to the restaurant Because at one point, we, you, we actually had uh, restaurants out of town, too, didn't we, early well, on? Well, there's so many restaurants in Schaumburg that right. yeah. we really don't need to do that, and we have more applied than we have space for. But this year, there were several new ones they really wanted to take, so we're, we're finding a way to add on to the tent a little bit so that we can accommodate. What are some more. of the new ones? Uh, yeah, we have uh, Express Stop Cafe. P.F. Chang's. Uh, Jersey Mike Subs. Uh, use Mandarin. 
Yeah, and it's a real popular Schaumburg restaurant, and this is the first time they've been it in the sure past. Is. It's gonna it be sure great. Is, yeah. And um, now uh, the former alumni club is Mad Mark's Mystic Pizza. So Mad Mark's new Mystic name, Pizza. new menu. Okay. So definitely a place to go and you know no. try to try everything. While you're now there. entertainment. You've got you've got you know main stage and you've got a smaller stage. And what about the smaller stage? Who, who, who so performs? We have three stages. We have the uh, main stage. We have the pre art stage, and, and the then dining. we have the dining tent yeah. stage. Yeah. And you, you got them all booked. Yeah, all, everything's all booked, ready to go. Inter entertainment the entire day. Yes. Uh, yeah, constant entertainment the whole time. The local uh, Marriott Music Stage, the local stage, features um, a lot of the uh, Park District groups and the local dance groups, sure. and the parents and the families come out to see, and then all of the uh, District 54 school bands and orchestras. Okay. So it's really nice for the families to come yeah, out sure. and see their children play, and then we have entertainment going on in the dining tent, too, so while you're eating, you have okay. entertainment going on, and, the, and there's the main stage the main with stage. the headliners, and then there's strolling entertainment, Who, who are the too, headliners? So. Well, this year we have on Friday night, we have... Uh, Saturday night. Saturday night, I'm sorry. Saturday, Saturday night. night. You Saturday just night want to we start have early. the... Uh, um, <laughs> the Ides, Ides of March and the Buckinghams. Okay. It's the Ides of March featuring Jim Peter. Okay. Right, and then Sunday night we have uh, Seventh Heaven, which is a local band that draws unbelievably... Back by popular band. It was one of the biggest crowds we had last year, and they were only a warm-up band like they're going to be this year. Okay. And after them we have uh, Fog Hat. Fog Hat, okay. Yep, and then on Monday we have uh, Second Time Around is the, the warm-up group. And then we have the Gin Blossoms, who are another real popular group. So we're just finalizing all of these contracts now okay. when we can go ahead and how about, post. How about the parade? Now, the parade's on, on, on Monday, Labor Day, right? Always Labor Day. Oh, it's always Labor Day. How many units do you have in a parade? Well, there's it's, applications are still coming in at this time, but usually around 100. Around 100. And you get marching bands, too, right? Yep. Yep, the high school marching bands. Which ones? Which ones did he have you? Uh, Schomburg and, and Conant. Schomburg and Conant, for okay. sure. For sure. And then, and then can, a few others, depending oh, on yeah. our budget and the, okay. who applies from right. year to year. Now, you've got great entertainment along the parade route. Absolutely. And people love that. Yes, people and our love parade marshal this year, of course. You parade marshal would be? Boy Scouts of America. Celebrating? Our 100th anniversary. 100 years in scouting, which, you know, they yeah. have a little more miles yeah. than we do. We, we're celebrating our 40th. They're celebrating their 100th. Yeah. So oh. it'll be a, it'll oh, be a nice gonna, day for everyone. Be, it's going to be a great event. Now, what can you tell me about the weather? <laughs> that's your department. <laughs> well, it's going to get dark it's towards been, evening. <laughs> <laughs> it's been really uh, yeah, hot lately. So. so plenty of good food, plenty of good entertainment. We're there, rain or shine. Right. Plenty, plenty of, uh, of refreshments. And fireworks. And okay, fireworks. fireworks on uh, Sunday night. Sunday night fireworks. With a rain date of Monday night. Okay. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah. I'm not sure that's good to even mention the rain <laughs> yeah, no. date. But, uh, Sunday night yeah, is going to be the We don't like that word. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is great. And, and the, the not-for-profit day is Monday, and it's a chance for local organizations to, to, to build up their, their treasury for the year. Right. 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 Boy Scout groups, not-for-profit groups, right? And they always have a very good build fair, too. Yeah. You know, beef sandwiches and, yeah. you know, They have a great menu. Pork. So there's yeah. food all three days. Yeah. You could come multiple days to the fest and have a good time. I will. <laughs> free pony rides on Saturday okay. and okay. free rides for children well. with disabilities on Saturday. Bill. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you for having you. Yes. Thank you once again. We have to have you on the show more often. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I need to. Uh... Well, that will do it for this edition of Speaking of Schaumburg. Join us again next month for another all-new episode. Until then, I'll see you around town.